Hello everyone, this is the Mining Geologist and I'm back again with another very exciting and very informative tutorial. I know it's been two months, so that was because of my vacation and hopefully you guys missed me and I will be back with a lot of tutorials. I have a lot of things that I've been working on in the past few months and some of them are ready that I will be sharing with you in the upcoming days and weeks. And today is just going to be a quick tutorial in which I'm going to show you something really cool. So usually when I create a proof of concept, so when I have a script that I like and I want to turn that into an application that anyone can use and especially if I want to share that with you and make it uh, a web app that is publicly available for everyone who can test it and see how it works. Usually I used Streamlit. Streamlit is a really uh, useful library that allows you to turn your uh, scripts into web application and you can deploy them onto their community cloud easily and for free. And the downside of that is that you don't have a lot of compute power. So if you have, I don't know, like um, a simulation maybe app or something like that, uh, that might not be uh, the best way to do it, but there is a new alternative and I'm really starting to like this one as you can uh, decide how much compute you want to use and it's really made by people who know geoscience and people who've been using geoscience apps and creating them in the past uh, years and you might know them uh, they are the team of DeepLime. They've already created GeoLime, which is a commercial package in the form of a, a Python scripting. Basically, it is a library that you can use for uh, resource modeling. We've got a lot of workflows, and some of you might be already using this. And um, there's a lot of uh, companies that they're already using this. But they've created this open source library that is called OneCode. It's something like um, Streamlit, but I would say it's better in uh, some ways. And uh, it is open source, so you can go and start creating or turning your script into applications. So um, this is basically Geolime. They've got, this is the GitHub page of the OneCode library. So they have a really good documentation. So you can go there and see how it works and create your first app. So they have this uh, uh, simple demo to create your first application and deploy that on their uh, dedicated servers. And um, see here, we've got the documentation. So I'm gonna show you something that I've created and it is useful and you can all uh, use that if you want because I've been using that. So if I go to the OneCode Cloud, either you go to their website, which is the main website, deeplime.io, or you can go and do onecode.rocks. So basically, this is where you're going to host your applications. It's on their cloud. And uh, for example, if I go here and go to apps, so currently, these are the available public apps created. Some of them are created by DeepLime themselves. You can see, you can see, for example, here the sequential uh, Gaussian simulation app. We've got like drill hole deserving app, and there's plenty of others. And I've created this one, and today I'm going to be showing you this one. But feel free to explore these. So once you create an app, it's going to be private. So uh, if someone is going to log in and see the public application, it's not going to be available. For now, I think it's up to the DeepLime uh, team to, um, to make that app public. I'm not sure if that's going to change in the future or not. If someone from the DeepLime team, please comment below and let me know or let everyone know uh, whether that's the case or not, or whether you guys want to make this uh, like everyone could turn its own application to public or not. So currently my app is public here and uh, in the future I can see something here it's called one store and I believe that uh, maybe and again the DeepLime team please correct me if I'm wrong so 
uh, maybe you will be able to sell your own applications. It's something that is uh, maybe you are this coding guru and you know you have a, plenty of ideas or you have the script that I've cr that you have created and you want to turn that maybe into a commercial app and everyone can benefit from that one and you can make some money out of that uh, app that you've created. So this is probably what's that store is uh, but uh, I'm not sure this is just a guess but for now you can use these apps for free and let's go and take a look at this one so basically what this lidar converter is sometimes I get these big lidar files but I wanna I don't wanna have like every millimeter to have like a point and use that maybe for uh, uh, a geological modeling a project or a source estimation I want maybe like every one meter or something like that based on the project of, of course so in most or in some of the geological modeling softwares they don't give you the option to maybe down sample the uh, lidar files or even um, some of them they do not support all of these you know lidar extensions so this app is really handy so all you have to do is you click on this uh, button here and you can upload some of the well-known extensions for lidar files if you have something in mind that is not supported here please comment below and I will make sure to add that to be supported so all you have to do is to upload this one and it's going to be part of the list of your uploaded documents uh, files sorry and then you can select any of these um, uh, files that you've uploaded and let's take a look at this one for example and then what you can do is you can choose you can keep it as zero which is basically it's going to be like a converter so you're going to be convert that last las or xyz file to a csv format it's going to have xyz uh, columns with all the coordinates or you can down sample that on the fly so for example if i do five which means that every so this one is assuming that for example this one is in meter so it's going to create one point every one meter so it's going to down sample the point cloud so uh, by default it's going to create a folder with the date and basically you can use csv or parkit if you want uh, if you have an app that supports that but usually most of us we like uh, csv so i'm going to select csv and click on start job so basically what this one is going to use, it's going to import that file and it's going to um, run it in the background. So you can see that these are all the things that I've tried in the past while testing the app. But now you see that the status here is initializing. So basically you can click on the log and it's going to show you what the app is doing in the background. So this one is handy because sometimes there is this issue and like the the tool crushes or something like that especially if you're creating the the tool so you might not know what's what's the issue but if you have this log here you will be able to know what was the issue and you can fix that in your code and uh, fix it so this one it works so the good thing about this one is that you host your code in github and you give access to uh, to one code um you know the the platform here and it will be to, able to turn that into um this web app and um everyone can use it so this it might take a while based on how big is your um cloud point cloud file or lidar file and um how fast are the um, you know the I think the the machine that you're using in the cloud or something like that because I think in the future you will be able to buy more um, more compute power like uh, I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with uh, um, forgot the name of the the tool by by Google but with a lot of uh, there's a lot of uh, cloud 
uh, platforms out there that allows you to buy compute but it's what's good about this one it's made by geoscientists so um yeah okay so i'm gonna probably pause this one pause the video and oh i don't have two because the app uh finished running and it's success there so what you're going to see here is you're going to see an html uh, file so if you click on this i icon here basically this one if you want to download it but if you click on this one you will be able to see that point cloud down sampled so you see this is how it looks when i down sampled that to five meters uh, if you think that the density is not okay, you can even push that further to 10 or maybe you put like 2 meters or something like that. And these are the elevations. So it's colored by the elevation there. So that's it. So it's really simple and you have, I think, I'm not sure how much you have in terms of storage. Uh, so basically all the files that you've uploaded, they're going to be here. And this is just for the uh, point cloud uh, or the LADAR converter file um, app that I've created, but you can go and check out all the other apps. Uh, there's uh, other apps and probably after you guys are going to see this one, go and create apps and share them with everybody and show them uh, what you're capable of. And this is a good way to... Um, you know, to share your uh, creativity with everyone. And maybe in the future, you might be able to even sell your app. Who knows? So that's the quick demo that I wanted to show you guys. And I hope you've liked it. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. And if you have anything related to the app itself, uh, one code, please reach out to the, uh, D, the guys behind DeepLime. They're very uh, responsive and helpful, and I'm sure they're going to answer all your uh, questions. And with that being said, I hope you like this tutorial, and see you in the next one.